Oh, hi. I'm glad you made it because you're in for a real treat today. And that's because today we are doing In The Can from Japan. So we recently got some imports from uh, the Far East. Got some Zone. We got Godzilla Energy 2, because one's not enough. We got X because of bands or something. And Pepsi made a five hour energy. Well, I'm gonna start with the most basic one and we'll work our way into the cool stuff. We're gonna start with Zone. This is the only energy drink up here I've actually seen an actual Japanese person drink. So as far as I know, this is the only real one that came from Japan. Although they all do have Japanese on it. Can someone get a shot of how weird the uh, top of these things are? Crazy. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's try it. This thing has like a power button on sideways, so I'm expecting it to really knock me over. This tastes exactly like a monster, like a regular normal monster, like almost not even a difference. Normally I'd go in and like look at the ingredients for these things to try and make some kind of bit, but I, I, how? I can't read any of this. The aftertaste is definitely more fruit than like a regular monster, more fruity. There's arrows on this thing pointing to where you're supposed to drink from. Monsters don't, don't have that, so you know, uh, Japan's got that going for it. Except for this Godzilla one, they're pointing in two different directions. And we'll get to that one later. Because it's not exactly like a monster, but it's very close. Oh, hey, it's, it's an eye. That's its logo. There's an eye behind a power symbol. It's like an Illuminati confirmed thing, right? Hey, over here. Hey, over here too. What's up? It's got a third eye. That's what drinking it does for you, man. It opens them all up. Godzilla Energy. This can is like the same shape and design as the Zone one, so I'm expecting it to be very similar. Alan, what Godzilla is this? That's a Godzilla, oh, like he's about to overload. Oh, okay, perfect. I want to feel like him. Who's this guy? That's a uh, Destroyer. Well, I'm going to destroy this can. <coughs> was that a bit? Are you, are you okay? Uh, it, was, it was a little bit of both. No, it's actually pretty good. I like it. It tastes like it's inspired by a Red Bull in the same way this was inspired by Monster. Only this is actually much better than a Red Bull. <laughs> if you look down here at the bottom, there's two numbers, two milligrams on here. 210 and 680. I have no idea which one's the caffeine. Oh, I'm still focusing. He's still focusing. Give it, let him cook. My man. Yeah, look at that. I'm trying to like think of like what fruit that is because it's a little like peach or cherry or something like kind of mixed in normal Red Bull and it's it's not so bad because our Red Bull has that thing where it tastes pretty like artificially sweet like um, I've heard people compare it to like liquid sweet tarts before but this adds more flavor to the sweetness than uh, what a Red Bull normally has. No, I, I think I like this one more than the, uh, the regular in the zone one honestly and not just because Godzilla's on it that's just like of course he's on the good one he's Godzilla. What's this thing down here? That's that bomb that they use on him. Oh. Bomb. oh, is that what I'm drinking? Am I drinking the stuff that killed Godzilla? Bro, if I could pull Godzilla out of this can. Pull out a little animated Godzilla and make it dance on the table. I can try. Look at him go. Oh. You do, it's incredible. Look at that. Go, 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 go. Man, you think this is radioactive? Like, do you think they bottle this with Fukushima water? Is that the 680 milligrams? It's 680 milligrams of celibates. So let's try this one. It's called Rock Energy X. Real gold. It's one of those names. I don't know which one. All three of them are on here and I just bought it. This is in collaboration with the musician. It's Yoshiki Hayashi. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he, he was a drummer. For the rock band X Japan, he wears a neck brace because he's hurt his neck from headbagging too much. Well, let's, let, let's see what he tastes like liquefied in a drink. Okay. So it's a spice mix and that part's in English. So they want me to know that. Hey, do you know what Garana is? I think that's just a noise you make. Garana, yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. So I'm really not sure how to describe this. It's a- uh, Like cinnamon? Almost. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a, a, a stranger hey, get opinion. Stranger. Get that stranger. Do you have a stranger here? Get that stranger, hey. Here, I don't know how you feel about this. Um, you got a professional or semi-professional opinion? It tastes like, <gasps> like tingly raspberry. Okay, it's not a bad way to describe it. Well, that leaves us with our closer. It's our smallest one. It's a Pepsi product of all things. I know, I can't, I can't believe Japan bought Pepsi, but they did. It's a refresh shot, and that's why I want to try it, to refresh after going through this gauntlet of uh, just absolute pure imported power. Oh, 
It's literally just Pepsi, but small can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm disappointed. Yo, that's the, that's the most disappointing one. Unless they mix some like double the caffeine of a normal Pepsi. It's just it's just Pepsi in a tiny Japanese can. Let me try it again. It's, it's just the Pepsi in a small can, man. I don't know. There's like there's there's a more Japanese per square inch on this than any Pepsi can I've seen before. I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually trying, but like. <laughs> I was the most disappointed by the Pepsi because it's just a Pepsi in a small Japanese can. You can buy bigger cans, it's better. Maybe there's something like hidden in there that I can't taste because I'm not an expert on Pepsi tastings, but it's just Pepsi. I'm gonna put the second lowest is uh, Rockstar's Real Gold. Man, you got a real bronze, not even a silver on this one. Really, it's probably the most underwhelming of the flavors, but since it wasn't just a Pepsi by itself, I'm content to like uh, put it there. It really tastes like artificial flavoring, like the color red. Then I would put number two as Zone. Zone was actually more enjoyable than the uh, the rocker energy, which maybe I shouldn't be surprised that the celebrity infused one isn't so good or not as good as like, you know, more normal. I could just grab this uh, zone and drink it as a normal energy drink and would in fact be curious to try alternative flavors for it just because this seems like a solid energy drink brand. That being said, this Godzilla one was actually pretty good. It reminds me a lot of like better Red Bulls and I'd be more curious to try other Godzilla properties in the form of energy drinks at this point. Seeing how these cans look very similar and this this one just looks like a normal one. I'm wondering if these two are from like the same company and that's why they're better. And I kind of wonder what other novelties this company has put out like this one if it's this good. Check the back, detective. It's all in Japanese, bro. How much did the drinks cost and how much was the shipping? Uh, $36 for the four of these and 48 for the shipping. Yeah. Well, Casey, do you feel like this is all worth it? Uh, 